All right, Coach, uh, first of all, what about that West Alabama men's soccer team? You, you, you get the game-winning goal in overtime. You have to feel good as their coach right now. Uh, I'm absolutely buzzing from that. It was uh, unbelievable. It's like, you know, CBU, they went ahead and they, they won conference. They won the whole lot last year. And for us to come out and beat them, they went one nil up and there was no easy goals. They battled for everything. And in fairness, the last, we were 1-0 down. We were a bit slow in the first half. In the second half, everyone came in and picked it up. But it was just a fantastic battle. And it could have went either way, but the last showed some quality heart and going on to get the win was absolutely amazing, you know. And, uh, and now 3-0 and oh in Gulf South Conference yeah. play. Uh, that, that's amazing, an amazing stat. Now 7-1 and one overall. You've got to be excited about uh, that. Well, I'll be honest with you, I never dreamed of this when we started. I knew we had a lot of talent, but I thought it was going to take a lot, a long time to come here. But what I've said to the last start of the year, we want to make this place a fortress, and it looks like we've done that. Now, of course, there's still some very tough games on the road and everything else, but we're absolutely at what we delight at what we've done so far, and hopefully we can just push on, because we've got some very difficult away games, but to win that is just, yeah, we're just really excited about that. You know? and, you, and you mentioned that, a still a long way to go in the 2012 season, but with a win here today against Christian Brothers, a team that was picked to finish first in the Gulf South Conference this year, I believe. First and second, yeah, it was there yeah. in West Florida, you know, but there's... Yeah, we're just absolutely delighted. As you're saying afterwards, the boys we couldn't get over when they won. Just the excitement, the whole buzz about it, it was, it was absolutely amazing. So hopefully we can just push on and take our season, push on from here, you know, because it was a great achievement. But we still have to go there, and it's going to be a tough, tough game. So and there's a lot of tough games we have to return. But as I said, can't, can't say how happy we are at the moment, you know, after that. All right, Coach, again, congratulations and good luck the rest of the way. Cheers, man. All right, here with Coach Graham Moore. Your, your team, two big wins this weekend. It's got to feel good to get two wins in conference play this early in the season. Uh, definitely. Uh, we've already beat our total for the last year, uh, getting the two wins this weekend. and We knew it was a really big weekend for us, up against two very good opponents, very experienced teams, you know. And I think we worked extremely hard, which we've been doing all season. And I think we just maybe got the luck of Robert the Green and the mm -hmm. ball bounced in the right direction. And credit to us when the opportunity came, we took our chances and, and we tightened up and defended uh, very well. A big player for you uh, so far has been Nikki Gears. It really starts with her 11 goals so far this season. Just talk about her performance. Uh, she's been tremendous from uh, from the, the outset. You know, uh, she creates a lot of chances for herself. Very unselfish, you know. And really, the, the biggest thing is she takes the pressure off the defence when she holds the ball up and, and spins in behind. And, and she's she's up there with the top scorers in the nation right now, and deservedly so. You know, she she definitely won the top players in the conference, and and hopefully she continue a good run. All right, two wins in conference play this season, one last year, uh, three in two years. Do you feel like this program is moving in the right direction? Yeah, it's, we we talked on the radio the other night, and I mentioned that I felt that we're definitely getting better as a team. We just didn't have maybe the results to show it, and I think if you look at the Montevallo game and you look at the uh, other games like Union, we, we played tremendously well and we just couldn't finish it off. And, and we just said that, you know, if we're creating chances, that's good, you know. So we keep creating chances and they'll come. And, and we definitely uh, didn't create as many chances today, but when they came around, we stepped up big and took three opportunities. And, and we're obviously delighted to get off the board in the conference with a couple of wins this weekend. All right, Coach, congratulations on the big wins and good luck the rest of the way. All right, Clay, uh, first of all, the game winning goal in overtime, that has to feel good. Just talk about that experience you, that you had this afternoon. Um, this is pretty much like one of the best feelings I've had since coming here. And um, i just glad I got the winner for my team. And we fought hard all together as one team. So. Okay, you mentioned fighting hard. Uh, you're now, first year program, now 7 and 1. Uh, that's got to feel good to, to have seven wins starting out in your first eight here at West Alabama. Yeah, they picked us to come last in the conference, and we're just showing everybody that we can play. It was a first year conference team. So. All right, Clay. Uh, thanks, and congratulations on the game winning goal.